What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to give you three ways to troubleshoot your CPU being at 100%. I recently posted a trick that worked for me, but that was an outlier and is not usually the case when it comes to um, your CPU being at 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a few tips and tricks on how to figure out um, what exactly is causing your CPU to be at 100%. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open Task Manager by right clicking on my taskbar and going to Task Manager. Or you can use Control Alt Delete and go to your taskbar or Control Alt Escape to open it directly. And this is where you're going to see um, your CPU usage. Now if you click on the CPU button right here, this tab, it'll actually sort all of your applications by which ones are using the most CPU. So you can see right now Camtasia Recorder is using the most because I'm recording my screen. If this is at 100%, you should see one of these um, being fairly high or the majority equaling out to 100% of your CPU usage. Otherwise, it might be a program that's running in the background kind of rogue. Um, the next step you want to do is go into your performance tab and open your resource monitor. Uh, this is also going to tell you where your utilization is and mine's at 34 but yours will likely say 100. And we're going to open up our resource monitor and this is the second place where you can try to narrow down what is using your CPU. Not only can you um, see your processes but you can see your services as well. So when you um, are in this tab you can actually click on average CPU and it will tell me which program on average has been using the most. So if it's one that keeps popping up at 1% and then it goes away and then 1% and it goes away, but it's been doing that for a very long time, um, you can kind of find those outliers here and um, get rid of it. And once you actually do figure out what it is causing it, you can decide if it's a system program that you want to keep or if it's something more malicious. And you can right click on it and you can actually search online to see if it is a Windows process. Um, you can suspend or end the process and of course you can also go into your services to stop the process. If you do want to do that, you just click on the start menu and type in services.msc. Um, Mine already started coming up after I type services, but services.msc is the full name of the application. And we'll open up services. And then you can just find whatever service happens to be using um, the most uh, processing speed here. You can just search for it in your processes. Uh, we'll say, I don't want this one here, so I'm going to go to processes. And you can stop it. And then you can also change it to disabled in the startup type. So um, we can say that this process is running. Uh, obviously, we need our DHCP client, but if I wanted to, I can go to properties and switch this to disabled, and it would actually turn off the process completely. Um, so that's one way to get rid of it. And then finally, the other way to test and kind of do some um, troubleshooting on um, your CPU itself, aside from maybe running a virus scan and a malware scan, which I'll show you how to do in a separate video, um, I would actually recommend going into your power settings and you're just going to right click on your battery go to power options go to change plan settings change advanced power settings and then you can scroll down here to processor power management and you're actually going to see a minimum processor state and if you change this to something like 10 percent or zero percent and it jumps back down then it was just a quick glitch where um, for some reason set your minimum processor state too high um, if that doesn't fix it, you can also play around with um, changing the maximum processor state. If you're at 100% CPU usage and you switch this to 90%, it should lower it down to 90%. It's still using your CPU, so you haven't fixed the problem, but you can limit it to see if it's a software issue or a bug or hardware issue or something you have to fix in the command line, like in the other video. Um, so yeah, that's how to kind of um, narrow it down and figure out what processes are killing your CPU and get those shut down. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you uh, still weren't able to fix it, please check out my other video that I posted recently. Um, I wasn't able to fix it with, with a lot of these tips that have worked for me for years. And then I found one tip that just happened to work, so I made a separate video for that. Um, aside from that, thank you so much for watching. hope this helped, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.